in this video of how to solve questions like we will be tackling this problem it says reduce this some th some sort of compound using first is sodium borohydride well known reducing agent lithium aluminium hydride a well known powerful reducing agent and hydrogen with palladium catalyst so this is an open ended question but we will have to make cases and follow accordingly so let's do a quick analysis of the reactant we are given so in this part we are given a aldehydic functional group we are given an ester functional group and another carbonyl so let's begin first case let's take up with sodium borohydride let me copy and paste this compound real quick so sodium borohydride is a reducing agent and what does it do it can reduce aldehyde groups and uh, acid carboxylic acid groups into alcohols but sodium borohydride hydride has a limitation then it can only on only reduce the aldehyde groups and carboxylic acid groups it cannot touch ester groups so this part right here will be shielded from sodium borohydride so when we do this reaction and add sodium borohydride followed by a quick hydrolysis we get an alcoholic group in place of this aldehyde group so this is one possibility now next possibility we will see with lithium aluminium hydride or lilh4 let me copy and paste this compound yet again so now in this compound we will see that lithium aluminium hydride has the potential to reduce aldehydes carboxylic acid as well as esters so this part right here will not be protected anymore so this lialh4 lithium aluminium hydride will convert this aldehyde group to alcohol as well as remove this part this ester part and break this part off as an alkoxide anion this part will break off as an alkoxide group and then we will have another aldehyde group here also why because when this will break off this will be an alkoxide anion and then we will have a partial positive charge on this carbon right here so when lithium aluminum hydride will give the hydride anion it will attack right here and give us another aldehyde group so let's do this thing also so when this compound is reacted with lialh4 and quick hydrolysis we are first left with ch3 o minus alkoxide anion and our main product that is this thing right here now to this we need to make some changes we will not have these things right here we will have this aldehyde groups on both ends of the compound so these will get reduced and we will have further reduction and we will be left with an alcoholic group on this side of the compound as well as as on this side on the compound so this is one product one possibility the third possibility is a reaction with hydrogen with palladium catalyst a well known reduction procedure what will happen in this case in this case when we uh, uh, when we in this case when we reduce 
this compound with hydrogen in presence of palladium these catalysts these reagents are not going to touch any of the carbonyl groups no they will not touch anything they will not even touch this part they will not touch this part they will not even touch the double bonds here because this is uh, contributing to the resonance to the stability of the structure but this multiple bond right here with carbon carbon double bond this will be attacked by hydrogen and palladium so we will have this compound again but this time we are going to have a removal of this part a removal of this bond so this will be our final product in this case so these are the three possibilities if we react this compound with sodium borohydride we will get this compound right here if we react this compound with lithium aluminium hydride we will be left with this compound and in the end if we react it with hydrogen and palladium catalyst we will have this compound so that was it for this video if you have any other questions on chemistry physics biology or mathematics leave your question below